but it's called the uh, Figure it out. Yep. Stay tuned for Air Gun Detective. <laughs> Stay tuned for Air Gun Detective. Birthday to you. Stay tuned for Air Gun Detective. Stay tuned for Aragon Detective. That was natural. Welcome to a special episode of Air Gun Detectives. I'm your host, JC. Today, we're gonna to take the mystery out of the world's most famous BB gun. You heard it, yep, the Daisy Red Rider. Before we get into that, I just gotta cover a couple of little things. One, real quick, I just wanted to talk about, if you guys noticed the intro, Lucy's dad passed uh, this week, unfortunately, uh, Frank. Frank, who who uh, really enjoyed shooting the air guns, and you guys saw that in a few intros. We were fortunate enough to at least have him in those. But anyway, just uh, letting you guys know, things are a little sad right, right around the uh, air gun detective household right now. But let's move on, and uh, just, uh, if you can, a couple of prayers for uh, Frank, I'd appreciate it. All right, so let's, um, let's get into this. Before we do, though, if you hadn't already, do me a favor, please hit that subscribe button down in the corner. It doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free and it really helps support the channel. Check out the website if you have an opportunity, www.airgundetectives.com. On that site, we've got t-shirts, various t-shirts. I've got the Generation 2 bipods, the trigger screw kits, some hats, and a few other things. Some of my personal inventory too. But check that out when you have an opportunity. All right, let's get back to the Red Riders. But before we get into this, grab a cup of coffee grab a drink, sit back, relax. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of history because it's pretty fascinating on the whole uh, Daisy Air Gun Company. So anyway, just in time for Christmas, I wanted to introduce these just so you guys know because these are, once again, these are very affordable and I will show you that you don't have to spend much money to have fun for the entire family. But anyway, let's, let's talk about the whole history because it's pretty fascinating here. So, Daisy actually started out as the Plymouth Iron Windmill Company. They actually um, made windmills, and this was in the 1880s. And windmills were very popular back then. They used them for wells where they would use them to pump the water uh, into the tanks, the holding tanks, and windmills were actually really popular. Well, what happened is the windmill sales kind of started to slow down. So in 1888, the founder, uh, Clarence, uh, Hamilton, he brought a prototype of a, of a BB gun, a prototype of a BB gun, air rifle we'll call it. They didn't call it BB gun quite then, but they call it air rifle. So he brought it to a board meeting and he let the president of the windmill company, the president at the time was Lewis Cass Hugh. Just remember that name, Lewis Cass Hugh, and had him test it out. So he fired the gun and then he looked up and said something to the event, maybe not the exact words, but really close to this. Boy, that's a daisy. And from that point on, that name caught on as far as the air guns, so the Daisy air guns. So what happened is they developed these guns to give them away with the windmills. And they got so popular that uh, a year later in 1889, they actually stopped producing the windmills and switched the factory full time to making air guns. So actually, and that was in 1889, in January 26, 1895, they officially changed the name to Daisy Manufacturing Company. And they remained until 1958 when they moved to uh, Rogers, Arkansas. So that's just kind of a little background on the Daisy. And, and as far as BB goes, you, you know where the term BB comes from? Because originally they called it an air shot rifle. Because if you think about a shotgun shoot shot, which is a round ball. Well, BB, they were gonna call it a bullet ball and then they were saying, well, ball bearing, and then BB caught on, and guess what? It stuck, so that's where the term BB comes from. So either, either ball bearing or bullet ball. So anyway, a little more history on the Red Rider. 
Okay, the Red Ryder was actually developed in 1938. It went into full production in 1940. The Red Rider is named after a comic strip hero. That comic strip hero actually started in 1938, went to all the way 1964 in about 750 papers across the nation. So Red Rider, he was a crime fighter and he had a sidekick. His sidekick was named Little Beaver. It was a Navajo boy. And together they went after bad guys and they had all their adventures and that was the comic strip. So since 1940, they have sold close to 10 million of these Red Riders. So that's 80 years, 80 years of sales. So this gun, tell me what other air gun. This gun is so popular, when I'm talking about world famous, they actually made a movie on this gun. And you guys have to see it. It came out in 1983, it's something for the whole family. It's called The Christmas Story. And the whole preface of the movie is about the kid wanting to get a Red Rider. He dreams about being Red Rider. He dreams about shooting the gun. Every time he asks somebody for the BB gun for Christmas, they always keep warning him, you're going to put your eye out. You're going to put your eye out. But uh, pretty, pretty fun movie. So that whole movie was based on the Red Rider gun. There's a museum in Cleveland that in 2015, they actually purchased one of the prop guns. They actually purchased it. They paid $10,000 for it. And to this day, it is displayed at that museum in Cleveland. It's a Christmas museum. But let's get into some of the specifics with this. But there's a lot of nostalgia here. There really is with these guns. All right. So what we have here is we have a standard version right here with the, with the gold um, barrel band. And then you have the adult version. They are 100% identical rifles with the exception of what? The stocks. The stock on the adult version is a little bit longer. In fact, the full length on the adult version is a little over 37 inches where the standard version is 35 inches. So you got about a little over two inches added to the stock. That is the only difference between these two rifles. So what it does increases the length of pull just to make it a little bit more comfortable for the adults. Um, the weight, uh, the standard one weighs a little over two pounds. The adult version, because you have the extra weight in the uh, stock, it weighs uh, about three and a half pounds, somewhere around there in that neighborhood. But what you get with these, you get full wood stocks and foregrips. This is actually real wood. These come with real wood. Pretty much the whole gun is metal with the exception of the trigger. And these do are, these are set up with, uh, let me move this one down here a little bit. These are set up with a manual safe on them right here. And these are lever action. They're a spring piston, one cock, that's all it takes. And this has a magazine in it. I'm gonna show you real quick. Let's get this in focus here. All you do, there's a there's a um, magazine opening right here. You push this down, slide this little door open. You saw a little BB pop out of there. Anyway, you can put 650 BBs into this. So you have 650 BBs in the uh, magazine for these, which is pretty incredible. That means you load that up, you can shoot all day. So they shoot right around that 300 feet per second. A um, little less, maybe a little more, just depends on the gun. Again, it's a spring piston. Just a single cock and you're ready to go. But I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna go play with these and I'm gonna show you the performance. And I'm also going to reinforce the fact that you don't always have to spend a ton of money on an air gun to have a good time. You really don't. These are extremely reasonable. In fact, this is the Heritage package, which comes actually two of them. So you get the adult version and you get the standard version. You'll get both guns and I have seen these in the $70 to $80 range for both guns, just in time for Christmas. But I'm gonna, let's go out and test them, and I'm just gonna show you actually about how much fun these are, and then we'll come back and talk about it. So stay tuned for the next segment. All right, let's test out our Red Rider for a little velocity. Um, both the adult version, as you guys know, as I already pretty much explained, they're exactly the same rifle. The only difference is the adult version has a little longer length of pull, which means it has a longer stock on it. So they shoot the same. So we're just going to shoot five shots over the crony. Um, we're going to go ahead and use the Daisy Zinc BBs. They're a 5.1 grain BB. But we're just going to fit, shoot five shots. Just curious what type of velocity we're getting here. Anyway, let's see. All right. Shot number one. It's 284. 
Shot number two. 281. Shot number three. 278. Shot number four. 279. And one more shot. Two seventy nine again, pretty consistent. Low standard uh, deviation, that's for sure. But that's what you want out of a little plinker. So anyway, those are your five shots. So uh, let's move on to the next segment. Okay, let's do a little accuracy test with our red rider here. Now, as I showed you guys in the beginning, no difference in the adult version and the uh, youth version, except the length of pull. In other words, the length of the rear stock. The rest of the assembly from the stock forward is exactly the same. So the guns shoot pretty much identical. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot five shots. We're gonna use our Daisy 5.1 grain steel zinc BBs. We're just gonna go for grouping. Remember, this isn't the most powerful gun, but this is perfect for plinking and doing some little target practice. It really is. And we're gonna shoot at our, I got the little bit larger one, the eight inch splatter burst here. They'll really uh, highlight our impact point, so we'll see how well this groups. And we're going to shoot here for our usual. This is uh, 32 feet, uh, roughly 10 meters, if you want to call it that. Uh, why don't you go ahead and check that out real quick. Okay, so you can see our distance there. So let's just shoot five shots and see how well it groups. And I'm going to shoot this left-handed. I could shoot it right-handed, but I feel more comfortable left-handed. Except this uh, little other thing may be getting in the way just a little bit. Let's just go for grouping. I'm just gonna aim dead center, and we will see how this works out. Okay, that's one. Two, whoa, that's pretty tight. And let's see, three. I'm really liking it so far. And four. That one hit exactly where I was aiming. Okay, and we'll go one more. Oh, that one didn't fire. Must not have had a DB in the chamber. Let's try that again. There you go. Hey, you know what? For 32 feet, <laughs> that is not a bad little group. It really isn't. It's perfect for plinking. But anyway, that's just so you can kind of give an idea of how well uh, these little rifles do. Well, let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's do a quick trigger test on our Red Rider here. Just kind of curious what these are all about as far as uh, trigger weight goes, because it's not a bad little trigger. I don't think it's the lightest trigger, but let's see what we got here. We got a trusty Lyman trigger gauge here. All right, that was five pounds, 15 ounces. Five pounds, 15 ounces. So, less than a six pound trigger, just less than a six pound trigger, which is nice and safe, that's for sure. All right, let's move on to the next segment. Okay, our favorite portion, we're gonna do a little plinking here with the Red Riders, and guess what? We got JJ to join us today. Max couldn't make it, so we got JJ. So he's got the adult version, I've got the regular version. As I said again, the only difference is the stocks. That's it. But uh, we set up some pretty cool targets here. We're going to be shooting our usual, you know, 32 feet, 10 meters. Go ahead and take a quick look. All right. So we're just going to knock these things down. We're going to we're going to keep shooting until we knock them all down. And uh, we'll start at the uh, bottom row. I've got three targets over there for JJ, three for me, and then on the top the same thing. So let's see if we can take care of business and have some fun. All right. There we go. All right. Now the tough one, that little shotgun shell. Well, wasn't that tough? I think I got it. Yeah, you did. Yep. 
Hey, these are great. I'm telling you guys, these are great, great little flakers. They really are. A lot of fun. There we go. Hey, I'd say we cleared that we cleared that card off really well. But as I said before in some of these other videos, sometimes the most simple BB guns are so much fun. I mean, seriously, you can load this up with 650 BBs and just keep shooting to your heart's content. And not bad accuracy, too. All right, let's move on to the next segment. Okay, so let's wrap this up with our conclusion. First of all, thanks to JJ for filling in in the plinking session for, uh, for Max. Max couldn't make it, so JJ stepped in. Anyway, as you saw, it's a lot of fun. It does not matter what age you are. You can get into air guns, and you can do it at a very inexpensive rate. I was talking about both these guns. I got them uh, in the Heritage package, but even individually, you can get the standard one right around 30 bucks, all wood, remember wood, but mostly metal with the exception of the trigger, or you can get the adult version for about 40 bucks. So you're, like I said before, you're looking with tax and everything under 80 bucks that you can get both these rifles. And this is something that's fun for the whole family. So as far as negatives go, I have no negatives on these. For this price point and the nostalgia and the history of this gun, how could there be anything negative? about these seriously this is a classic piece of history that um, there usually can be hand down from generation but at this price heck everybody deserves a new one so once again you don't have to spend a lot of money to enjoy an air gun hobby you don't so what do i really like about these guns besides the nostalgia they're just fun to shoot and the simplicity of it like I said, mostly metal, wood stocks. You do have an adjustable sight here. It's adjustable for elevation, not for windage, but for ele elevation. You're gonna, it's gonna hold 600 plus BBs. So it's not like you're gonna be reloading much. You fill that thing up, you're gonna be good to go for a while. And the lever action is fun. And it's, I mean, what can I say? It's just, it's, they're just, this is, this is the foundation of the BB gun, it really is. So this is fun and entertaining for everybody. Yes, the little ones, the adults, everybody else in between. And again, I'm just gonna emphasize, fun, fun, fun. You don't have to spend tons of money. You don't have to have an air gun that shoots super high velocity to have a good time. You saw how we were plinking. It's just, it's entertaining. There's just so many little um, games and contests that you can put together. And again, the reason I'm emphasizing this we got a horrible economy. Let's face reality. Our economy is lousy. Uh, the dollar doesn't go too far, but there's still something that you can get that's really enjoyable and actually would put a smile on any kid's face, that's for sure, and any adult's face. So anyway, I'm just trying to give you guys some options. That's what we do here. Remember, my channel is just a little bit different. So these are five stars all the way. Hey, another thing, if you haven't seen that Christmas movie, you have got to watch it. And there's a great lesson in there. And what is the lesson? Always wear eye protection. It was funny. He just kept getting warned and warned and warned about a BB hitting him in the eye. And I don't want to spoil the movie for you, but just definitely watch it. One other hint that I usually do, I'm going to show you guys again. If you can see on the front of this, a little red nail polish on the front, it makes a big difference when it comes to aiming at those dark targets. And it doesn't cost you anything. I'm sure the lady of the house has some laying around, some orange or red, which would be perfect. Anyway, that just gives you guys another idea for Christmas shopping. Last week I brought you something this week. I wanted to give you guys something that's affordable because let's, uh, let's make Christmas special. And again, I'm going to say family is so important and you, you, know, you witnessed it with me here. Next thing you know, one day one of your key family members are not here anymore. So enjoy those days. Enjoy every day with your family as much as you can and have fun. Remember, we only get one shot at this, so have fun. All right, with that, I hope you guys are going to have a great uh, holiday coming up. In addition to that, don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. Until next time, take care and God bless.